I do like living in halls because it's a good medium between moving out of home like I was with my parents and moving to a different place and a different house um, because the bills are paid and well there's no electricity bills and all those things it's just one flat thing and I've got my own bathroom so I don't have to share and the kitchen's nice and my room's gorgeous my room's huge so I like that um, there are some disadvantages of living in halls for example like loud flatmates like there are some people in my block that come back at like five o'clock in the morning quite often blowing whistles and just being really inconsiderate like I sleep with earplugs in every night because of it because otherwise I'm just not going to get to sleep but yeah I do like living in halls. Well there's not really what I expected I mean I expected it to be lots and lots of rooms with students and like people being loud everywhere which doesn't happen all the time but um, my room is much bigger than I expected it to be it's like in my sister's room when she was first year in halls it was literally bed, desk and then a door for the um, shower and bathroom whereas mine you can walk around in it and like we, we had people around here the other night and we can get like 10-15 people in here if we wanted to but um, yeah it's good. The cleaning is done by a weekly rotor it's checked every Wednesday and we get fined if we don't do the cleaning we try to keep it pretty clean throughout the week like um, just clean up after ourselves make things simple like that and then um, when it comes to Tuesday night we don't have to do a ramp like big clean up and we hardly ever get fined. So. I get on with um, some of the girls in my block and I spend most evenings with them um, so it's really nice to have someone that's right on your doorstep and um, there are some loud and annoying people but I hardly ever see them, we just keep out of each other's way. I mean, they live in the same floor as me, but I never see them, so it doesn't really matter. Me and my flatmates tend to always cook together. I mean, even if we're eating separate meals, we will always eat together, because it's not very nice just sitting in your room on your own. Um, we tend to take it in turns to cook, like, even if it's just something like pasta, someone else will do it. Um, and yeah, we enjoy being around each other, and like, I like to cook, and I think they do too, so we just take it in turns. Initially, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, living in halls and I thought it had a lot of potential, especially socially. It is a really good uh, way to introduce yourself to university life. However, it's also quite distorted as well, living in halls, because it's not like uh, real life whatsoever. You've got everyone in the same situation as you and everyone's trying very, very hard to socialise with everyone in order to, you know, it's all about social networking nowadays, which is why Facebook's such a success. But now, after the past couple of months of being here, um, my impression of halls has gone downhill so much, and now I just want to get out as soon as possible, really. Disadvantages of living in here are the constant checkups by uh, staff, such as uh, the cleaning, uh, they fleece you. They really fleece you money-wise. My liability's gone to toffee. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah. My liability's just gone downhill completely. Um, I think I've got 138 pounds left from my 200 pound deposit. And half of the time, it's not even my fault. Personally, I plan my meals, sometimes a week in advance, like one time I made a uh, roast pheasant for, uh, for about eight people, which was great, it was so nice. It may not appear as of now, but I am a, quite a clean freak, honestly I am quite a clean freak, but um, it, usually it has to get to the point where it has to be cleaned and I can't I can't take it anymore really <laughs>